Welcome to How to Expat. I'm here with my friend Carlton and we will just ask him away what he thinks about yeah, how life is in Colombia as an expat. Welcome to How to Expat. My name is Sam and this is my friend Carlton. And yeah, as I said in the intro, we just ask away. So why did you come to Colombia to kind of, yeah, you semi-retire or like retire, but still yeah. very active. Right. You have your own YouTube channel. So why did you come here? Come here. Well, like I said, I, I used to uh, travel around for the last 10 years or so to Caribbean islands, just getting mentally prepared for retirement, trying to find somewhere I want to live. You know? mm -hmm. And I was plan, planned to go to uh, Taiwan and China and so forth. And once I learned about Colombia from reading all these magazines that said the top places to retire, mm -hmm. it's on the list, including Panama. I did Panama also. Yep. Uh, but Panama is very expensive compared mm -hmm. to compared to Medellin or Colombia in general. Mm -hmm. So I happened upon Medellin, loved it, uh, loved the, the climate, loved the people, loved all the fruits I can get, like remind me mm -hmm. of home with all the fruits, and I uh, love the cost of living. It's, it's so inexpensive. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, I decided to just quit, quit my job early. Mm -hmm. I'm not retirement age yet. Yeah, thank you. you know, I did a budget and decided to come over here and, and relax and get out of the stressful environment of work, <laughs> being, a, being a banker. Nine to five. Exactly right, you know. And uh, if you do a budget and say you can handle it, even though you don't have any social security coming in yet mm. and all that stuff, you know. So I, I've been here about a year now, exactly a year actually, and I like it, mm -hmm. you know, and it's been good, good. So just, just keep busy. Mm -hmm. I travel, you know, I've been all over Colombia and all the major cities like mm -hmm. Cartagena, Santa Marta, Bogota, Cali, been to all the major cities. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to go to minor, the smaller pueblos. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm visiting some of the other sites, like the pres nature preserves and so forth. Like I mm -hmm. went to Rio Claro uh, just last week. Yeah. So I'm just trying to travel around. I want to see Pereira, mm -hmm. Manzales, maybe in, within the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, And I started my YouTube channel because I was mm -hmm. traveling around and someone said, well, if you can travel around like that, just you know, mm -hmm. get a YouTube channel. For yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and I just watch guys like you and uh, <laughs> a couple of other guys, yeah. you know, there's so many channels out there. So let me uh, just keep busy by doing yeah. it. it makes know. sense. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I got into it. It takes a lot of time, as you know. Mm -hmm. if, you yeah. think, if you think it's easy, <laughs> all the taping, the editing and the uploading it to YouTube, it, it can be, uh, you know, time yeah, consuming. A lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work. A lot of work. So you use uh, Columbia kind of because uh, we know that you're very busy traveling around and experiencing different stuff, especially right. yeah, kind of Latin America, but thinking right. about Europe and Asia too. Yeah. But it, how is it uh, like having Colombia or specifically Medellin as a, as a base to travel? Is it convenient? Can you get a lot of flights or, or how Yeah, did that work out for you so far? Yeah, you know, it's, it's convenient. A lot of flights coming out of here, especially the major airlines, like Avianca. You, you can get a lot of local um, Cheap flights throughout mm -hmm. South America mm -hmm. with a Copa, Viva, and so yeah. forth. It can be really cheap. You know, fly within Colombia, it can be like $30. Yeah, we for, just for, uh, yeah. ordered another one for Viva. It's incredible. Yeah, right. Really, really cheap, you yeah. know. But I would say I, I'm planning to go, I want to see Thailand, mm -hmm. um, you know, or Vietnam and those places. And I've been watching some other YouTubers and talking about Kiev uh, and, um, and Poland. Mm -hmm. I was wanting to go see Russia and these places. <laughs> and the problem is, and I have a friend I met here mm -hmm. about six months ago, he's from Qatar, mm -hmm. you know, and I want to see that. But the problem from, from here is it's expensive. Mm -hmm. the flights are, you know, up to $2,000, yeah. you know, so expensive. So, so I have to, pl fun. <laughs> I have to plan, I have to plan those accordingly, maybe one trip, you know, mm -hmm. every six months or so. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do a lot more trips throughout South America. <laughs> that budget, yeah. But, but to, um, <laughs> But to go to uh, places I want to go to over there in, in Europe and mm. or in, or in Saudi Arabia, it's going to be a lot more expensive. Mm. Okay. You know? So I'm still planning to go, but I have to plan mm. those trips you know, yeah. carefully. And you're still happy with having Colombia as your base? Or are you more kind of, yeah, not a digital nomad, but mm. kind of more a nomad right, in that sense? Right, or right. Are, are you happy to be settled in one place? I'm happy to be settled, believe mm. me. I've seen some guys <laughs> on YouTube. They bounce around. I'm not obviously. I'm not 25. You know, I'm not <laughs> young as you guys are. You know, if you're young, you can do that. But um, you know, I don't want to be bouncing around. Mm. You know, different city every month. Mm. That's something I want to do. I want a base where I call my home, my own apartment. Mm. You know, friends mm. come over and whatever. You know, um, hanging out in certain places just because I'm kind of semi-retired. Mm. I say semi-retired. Basically, I am retired. <laughs> just retired early. You know. 
but I keep saying semi-retired. I feel like I shouldn't be retired because I'm, mm. I'm young, you know? Right. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't be retired. <laughs> I should still be working, you know? But I basically am retired. Mm. But I love this base. It's just it's expensive when you try to go over into, you know, Asia or in Europe somewhere. Mm-hmm. And you're going to add, uh, you know, another six, seven hundred dollars from here to the U.S., mm. you know? So that's the only issue I have with that. Mm. Okay. But traveling throughout South America, it's not too bad. I went to Mia Flores in, in Peru. Mm. And uh, I plan to go to see a lot of places in uh, you know Costa Rica and those areas. So. Mm. Okay, yeah. cool. So how was it for you, kind of the change? Of course, if you're from the U.S., you uh, you grew up there. Yeah, you you came from Jamaica, but you right. yeah most of your life you spent right. uh, in in the U.S. But how was it for you, kind of changing again all like the, the culture things, this uh, the, the the language? Yeah, because some. People they just find themselves no, it's not for them. Right, right. So they right. just go back and, and live the life that, like they used to. And some people just race to the challenge and, and accept that. And so how was that? Well, it depends on your on your personality. I'm mm-hmm. the kind of person that even you know before I retired, I'm not the kind of person that has to be around family mm-hmm. or you know it's good or bad. Some people think it's bad, but to mm-hmm. me, I'm a kind of freestyle. I I can go anywhere. I can go mm-hmm. up and go to Australia tomorrow, and I'm mm-hmm. fine there. Mm-hmm. You know. And I have people that you know left college and they grew up in a certain town, uh, went away to college, came back, and they're still in the same town. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's that's not me. I just mm. not my personality. I like to travel, like to see see things. I, when I, even when I I left um, New York and moved to Florida, mm-hmm. you know, uh, for work, and I left, got my uh, MBA. I traveled and moved around all over Florida, from mm-hmm. West Palm Beach to Miami to Fort Lauderdale mm-hmm. to Orlando. Then I moved out to Houston. You know, so I can basically, I like the challenge of meeting new people, mm-hmm. learning new places, mm-hmm. new cultures, mm-hmm. you know. I would love to be able to take off to um, like Australia, mm-hmm. you know, and live there for six months. Yeah. You, know, you want to do what, that? Yeah, wonder, okay. yeah, that wouldn't bother me at all. Just yeah. a, a new culture, and new people, yeah. you know. And you would still have your apartment here uh, or would you change something? Yeah, you know, so that's still in the planning stage. Oh, okay. Still in the planning stage, but that's what I would love to do, be able yeah. to do that. So I'm still trying to work through that, mm-hmm. whether it makes sense to, uh, I have a year lease right now, mm-hmm. just renewed it six more months, mm-hmm. makes sense to, um, at the end of the uh, six month period, mm-hmm. just go, um, you know, Airbnbs mm-hmm. or something like a month to month, and then I can just lock it down and move somewhere for three months at a time mm-hmm. and come back. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's still in the planning stages right now. Okay. But I'd love to do, be able to see more places though. Mm-hmm. Okay. So my last question would be, how was it for you kind of to settle down? So of course, yeah, you have the digital nomads that just have Airbnb or whatnot. Right. Right. Uh, but for you, it's a different thing. I think you're uh, uh, signed up with uh, with the health insurance here in Colombia, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you have a non-furnished apartment, which is, yeah, yeah an, an another thing. More the furniture. Exactly, but buying it's, furniture. It's, but it's pretty all cheap. I mean, the furniture is pretty mm-hmm. cheap. It's a, Small apartment. I only wanted a one-bedroom mm-hmm. apartment, and I think I fully furnished it for like two thousand six hundred dollars. Yeah. You know, and people have to realize if they choose between the furnished and unfurnished, yeah. you're probably going to pay more for the furnished. Mm. But I did the math yeah. and say if I if I bought my furniture, if, if I get it unfurnished, paid yeah. a little less, and bought my furniture, over the year I could probably make up the difference mm. in the cost. And if I was to say move out of here mm-hmm. uh, in six more months, I can probably dump the furniture and still be. You know, yeah, even, even yeah. if you don't know, you know, understand my logic, yeah, even, you know, so I, I like to have my own spot, my own furniture, mm-hmm. you know, then cool. somebody else's stuff. Yeah. yeah. And how was it for you? Because, uh, yeah, like, of course we know, but uh, how is, was it for you kind of finding an unfurnished apartment? Because it's a challenge. Yeah. It's a challenge. Matter of fact, a friend of mine just is visiting now. He wants to, um, to live here. He's right here for the next month. And he's, uh, he asked me the same question uh, two days ago. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's going to be a challenge, as you know. He had mm-hmm. some videos about it. Yeah. You know, it's a big challenge. I think you also help people to, with that, right? Exactly, yeah. Exactly so put, right. put us right. in contact. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right, yeah. You know? But I was lucky enough where you know, I knew someone that, uh, when I first got here, knew Spanish pretty well, a friend of a friend. She had a car and just drove around neighborhoods mm-hmm. and looked for, you know, for rent sign mm-hmm. and then make, kept calling mm-hmm. you know, and see if they could find someone that actually owned the, the mm-hmm. unit. And she called for you or you did it yourself? She called for me. Okay, you know? it's yeah. kind of hard because yeah, uh, right. through the phone is even harder than face Exactly, face, yeah. Right? She called for me and then uh, we, we, I just, it's luck, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I, within the week, we tried it. Maybe the first three or four days, mm-hmm. she found someone, mm-hmm. uh, rent sign, and they said they, one, one person 
uh, spoke English, mm -hmm. and we met him the next day and we started negotiating. Mm -hmm. You know, I, you know, you got to learn to negotiate with these people, <laughs> and I, I offered to pay three months in advance. Mm -hmm. You know, he did love that, and then I offered to, um, since I didn't have a cellular, I couldn't mm -hmm. get all the, you know, the. Um, Utilities and so forth, and the Clara. So the Colombian ID card, right? Right, so they, right. I didn't have that, obviously. Mm -hmm. So I offered to give him three hundred dollars deposit mm -hmm. uh, and keep it in his name. Mm -hmm. I'll still pay the utilities, mm -hmm. but and average about one twelve, I think, for everything: mm -hmm. water, gas, uh, cable, internet, mm -hmm. and high speed net. About one twelve is just cheap. So he has a deposit in cash, mm -hmm. but I still pay it. Just to make him feel better. Yeah. If something goes wrong, I don't pay. You know, yeah. I don't pay it. You know, mm. so he, he, he loved that, he loved the deal and, mm. you know, All right. took it right away. So mm. I looked out. <laughs> yeah, but it's really out. good, uh, good within, for you. Eh? Within four, three, four days, I looked yeah. out. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I think that's either, yeah, you, you, you hire somebody like us to, uh, to help you or right. just have a friend that speaks Spanish, especially if you don't speak Spanish, but even just to, to give you the tricks, like, yeah. Yeah. instead of searching in, how is it called, MES, uh, multiple listing right, service, right, right, MLS. Right. MLS, yeah. um, We don't really have an MLS per se yeah, here. Yeah, that's that's right. A lot, a lot of people from the US yeah. that try to find right. that, but it's yeah, not really, yeah. 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 And, and this can be really, um, you know, a challenge because as you know, as you go on some of these websites, mm. um, when I heard you can have one realtor offer an apartment for X, mm -hmm. another realtor offer the same apartment for, yeah. for Y, <laughs> yeah. you know? That's so just it can be a different thing. Yep, yeah, a little different here, <laughs> you know? And some, as a matter of fact, right, some of the people that called, some of them didn't even want um, Americans yeah. or foreigners. Yeah, we heard to, that a couple to, of to times. To yeah, the lady said, you know, where are you from? We don't want yeah. any foreigners. They just yeah. want only Colombians. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> can be a challenge. So yeah, I think that's uh, already it. Um, as I've said in the intro, uh, Carlton has his YouTube channel too. So uh, if you if you want to see what he's up to here in Medellin, Colombia, and around Latin America, and then maybe yeah. later in Qatar yeah. and around yeah. the world, yeah. uh, the link is in the description down below. Uh, so follow him there. And yeah, that was already it. So hope to see you in the next video. And if you want to find out more about uh, life in Colombia, Ecuador, Panama. You have a great ebook, which is free. Uh, the link is also down in the description below.